Don't do a presentation. Okay? What about the fetal head attitude? Fetal head may be flexed or deflexed or extended like that. If well flexed like this, this is vertex with well flexed head, the engaging diameter is the vibrator diameter 9.5, the longitudinal diameter is the sub occipital pragmatic diameter which is 9.5 centimeters, so the head is like a ball if it is well flexed. If it is vertex, but with little, very little deflection, the longitudinal diameter will change to be sub occipital frontal, which is bigger than the sub occipital rhythmic. It is about 10.5 centimeters. Okay, what about the three fetal head attitude? We said flexed, deflexed, like look to me, flexed. Deflexed, extend. So, flexed, deflexed, midway between flexion and extension, and extend. In case of extended, complete extension like that, it is phase presentation. Will cause phase presentation. If it is midway between flexion and extension like that, will be brow presentation, which is undeliverable. If it is full extended this face, if it is deflexed, it is brow. It is if it is well flexed like that, it is vertex presentation. This is called the fetal head attitude. Of course, the baby inside the uterus is in a flexion attitude. All the body is flexed on itself like that. Okay, because to accommodate the space inside, and also the head may be flexed deflexed or extended. When the fetal head rotate and when the fetal head is flexed. If you remember the this uh, stages of labor, there is the center of the head first to enter the pelvic then the pelvic inlet. Then there is engagement, passage of widest transverse diameter through the plane of pelvic inlet. Then the head completes its descent down to reach the pelvic floor. When it reaches the elevator in eye, it becomes more flexible, more flexible, because it will meet a resistance. Imagine my hand is a pelvic floor muscle, elevator in eye, the head reaching the floor, then it is flexed because it meets the resistance. At the same time, the head now in the greatest plane, the cavity, the mid-cavity plane, or the plane of greatest pelvic dimension. So, it can rotate its circle anterior. Then, the head completes its descent and the delivery will occur by extension, as all of us know, like that. So the head will be delivered like that, in extension. Okay? Then after the head is delivered, there is what's called the restitution and the external rotation. There is untwist the head, rotate its circle in the opposite direction to do untwist. Then Another eight circle in the same direction is called external rotation. Okay? Okay. We wanted to know something about the lie, what's called lie presentation and the position and the engagement. Lie. Lie is a relation of the longitudinal axis of the fetus to that of the mother. Longitudinal axis of the fetus to that of the mother. So I have two lie. Longitudinal and Transverse line. So, if the case is breach, it is considered longitudinal or transverse. This is longitudinal. And if it is vertex, it is also longitudinal. If it is like that, shoulder, it is transverse line. Okay. What about the position? Relation of the fetal back 
to the anterior abdominal wall of the muscle. Whether anterior or posterior, right or left. Okay? Give me an example. In case of vertex, we said dominator in vertex is the occipital. So we say left occipital anterior, it is like that. And we said left or right according to the mother. Okay? So this side is the side of the mother. If imagine the mother is lying here and the head here and the foot here, so her left side is here. So if I found the occipital in this area to the left side and the anterior, it is called left occipital anterior. Yes. If it is directed like that, it is called yes. Excellent. It is right occipital anterior. If it is directed like that, it is called left occipital posterior. If it is directed like that, it is called right occipital posterior. Okay. So, this is the position. And the same for breach, the denominator is table of the sacrum. If it is like that, it is left sacral anterior. If it is like that, it is right sacral anterior and so on. What about if the occiput is directed anterior, direct anterior, yes? So I will say direct occipital anterior. If it is posterior like that, it is called direct occipital posterior. What about if it is to the one side, to the right, it's called? Right occipital transverse, excellent. If it is like that, it is left occipital transverse, yes. That's right. Okay? Okay. So I have how many positions? Left or right, anterior posterior. This is four. Direct anterior posterior. Another two. Six. Transverse. Right and left. So I have eight positions. Right? Eight positions. Okay. This is as regard the Position. What about the engagement? Engagement descend uh, the widest transverse diameter through the plane of pelvic L. Okay? Okay. How can you diagnose it? Abdominal or BB examination? Abdominal. Use rule of first. If you felt during doing Prosthetic grabs fit as regard the first bulbar grab and second bulbar grab. If you feel two fifths or less of the head abdominally, so the head is engaged. But if you feel three fifths or more abdominally, the head is not engaged. If you feel the whole head and it is palatable, it is floating, it is away from the bulbs, it is in the false bulbs now. Okay? So, three fifths or more of the head must be inside the bulbs. And we say passage of the widest transverse diameter through the plane of pelvic inlet is a definition of engagement. How to diagnose? By abdominal rule of fifths, measuring how many fifths of the head felt abdominal? If two fifths or less, or no part of the head completely can be felt, so the head is deeply engaged. If you feel three fifths of the head or more, so the head is not engaged. By BV examination, if you felt the lowermost part of the bone at the level of the ischial spine, this is. This is the ischial spine, here. Okay? This is the ischial spine. Let's see. Yeah, this one. This is the ischial spine, and this is the ischial spine. If the lowermost part reaches this level, okay, this is station zero, according to the Lemisov, station zero, the head is engaged. If it is one centimeter below, down, it is plus one, two centimeter plus two, three centimeter plus three, 
4 cm plus 4, 5 cm plus 5. And the same, but by negative, if it is above the Eskelis point, the head is still above the Eskelis point. Is it 2 cm above the Eskelis spine, So it is minus 2. 1 cm above the Eskelis spine, it is minus 1. And so on until minus 5. So, level of Eskelis spine is considered station 0. Below it, it is by plus. Above it, by minus. So, I can detect engagement by BD examination also. Okay? Okay. By the way, because we are in the area of the Eskel spine, Eskel spine is a landmark in obstetrics and the gynecology. Very important landmark, this one, the Eskel spine. In some patients, it is jutting and bro prominent like that. Okay? Of course, it could dispute an important item because the plane of least pelvic dimension in the outlet bounded by the ischial tip of the ischial spine and the lower border of the centrus pubis and the inferior pubic ramus. So it's called plane of least pelvic dimension. So it is very important. Plane of least pelvic dimension. What is the importance of ischial spine in obstetrics and the gynecology? We said just right now, we said engagement if the lower most part of the presenting part reaches the level of the ischial spine, it is an engaged head and it is a station zero. Right? Yes. Also, what is important, the dental nerve anatomy running in this area. So, in case of the dental nerve block, anesthesia, injection at this landmark. Also, this ischial spine constitutes a boundary of plane of least pelvic dimension in obstetric out. Also, level of the ischial spine, the external os at the same level of the ischial spine. If the external os in gynecology descends down, so there is prolapse. So we take it as a landmark for this area. Levator anon is attached to the ischial spine also, give attachment to the, the ischial spine. Sacrospinous ligament is attached to the sacral spine. So this scale spine is an important landmark in Ruby Guys. Okay. Let us continue. We said lie, presentation, position, and engagement. Right? We now know the lie, mm. the presentation, the position, and the engagement. Okay? Any question as regard the female bulbous and fetal head skull? Any questions? Okay, thank you.